An industry group says the coast building sector will struggle if the next state government fails to improve investment in the region. Queensland's Urban Development Institute held a forum with local LNP members today to shed light on the party's plans. It was once one of the coast's key economic drivers. No secret, especially construction on the Sunshine Coast has been doing it tough. Queensland's Urban Development Institute hoping a change in government will give the industry a desperately needed boost. Its president says tradesmen have been forced out of the region to find work. I think a lot more could have been done. We could have been a lot more proactive locally to uh, you know, at least flatten out what has been a, a major bump in our in our local economies. At today's pre-election breakfast, UDIA's members grilled local LNP candidates on their priorities. Happy to hear all three sitting members consider Sunshine Coast's University Hospital number one. Hospital beds, three or four hundred uh, hospital beds short here in this region, but you also need the economic stimulus of this hospital to occur in a timely way. The party also promising to generate more jobs in the region by increasing the business payroll tax threshold to $1.6 million. It stops them employing people because they don't want to go over the threshold. The hospital's also high on the ALP's agenda. Its candidate from Maroochydore promising to hold Campbell Newman accountable to the project if the LNP is elected on Saturday. You've got to remember that Labor uh, designed and announced and budgeted the Sunshine Coast University Hospital, so it's ours. It'll be my job on the coast to make sure he builds it. Sarah Sinclair, Win News.